those some spiffy shoes I had on. Those blades will wake you up a bit. Not quite sure what the point of this part is, but it was fun to do. guys today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new battery powered lawnmower that runs off from the same batteries that power every single unit that ego makes today we're not just going to be doing donuts on it though we're going to be taking it into the swamp and putting it to the ultimate test we're going to be checking runtime cut quality speed power and of course just abusing the heck out of it to see how well she holds up. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive right into today's video. So there's plenty of battery powered zero turn lawnmowers and they're starting to become more and more common. The difference with this one is, is those other ones that are out there use these giant blocks of batteries, which means when your mower dies, you're stuck. You can't pop a battery out, put a new battery in and just keep going. The beautiful part about this one is you got a couple spare batteries, you're in business. <laughs> so you can see that it's got the blue tape on it, which means it's it's loctited, but not permanently loctited. With this off, here's your top adjustment middle let's go right down to the bottom and see how that fits in place this one's been lowered to its lowest spot this one's at its highest this feels way better already so this is max min So if you're a bigger guy, you can definitely get this so you got a nice ride without bottoming out. There we go. Parking brake is right there. Yeah, it's just a quick release. Very simple. Let's go cut some leaves. Let's test it out on a pile of crud. That's nothing. This is nothing. This is just the first test. Trust me, this gets good. So adjusting the deck, pretty much just the lever right there. You got four inches, three inches, two inches. And we're cutting at three today. I wanted to see how far this could cut. What was the run time on it? And so you're gonna watch me cut this lawn and it just keeps going, but I'm gonna give you updates on where the battery is at during this entire process. Now to me, this didn't really, shouldn't really draw a whole lot of power out of the mower. This would be like your weekly cut. They say you can go up to two acres, but I wanna find out if that's true. be talking to the camera because I'm talking to Danny the editor I don't want him to cut or modify any change cameras at this point I want you guys just to see what this can do because this is where we start to get into the thick stuff this is just the beginning
That's freaking insane. That grass is wet, tall, and doesn't get thicker than that. And there's sticks in there. Okay. Cutting at, it hit something and it bound up at the very end. I'm cutting at two and a half inches. Let's see if she'll fire up again. Okay, without switching cameras, don't switch cameras. I don't care what you gotta do, I'm talking to this one now. And the reason I'm being so adamant about this, guys, is I want this to be totally one shot. Let's see what stopped this mower. I don't want cameras switching back and forth. I, don't want, I just want it to be very clear. What did we hit? I don't know. Looks like we hit this thing. Let's find some more nasty areas to mow. I don't know if runtime's more important or if mowing nasty stuff is more important. I want to mow nasty stuff because it's my nature, but I think we really need to flesh out this runtime to make sure that you guys are getting a good mower. And then we got any juice left at the end. Let's dog it. So I got to mow my entire property with this mower and then I still had more runtime left and we're gonna actually cover how much runtime I'm at where I'm at. So I just went out into the woods and started mowing because I ran out of other places to mow. There's something really cool about this mower. You can actually on the fly control your blade speed, how fast your blades spin, and that conserves your battery. You also have three travel modes. I believe it's three travel modes or three modes in this thing. I'm actually gonna show you guys how the computer operates at the end of the video. So if you wanna know like some of the, the more detailed stuff, make sure you stick around for that because they've got this thing dialed in so you can, I mean, it'll, it'll rip, it'll fly speed wise, but you can also tone it down to conserve the battery and just go as far as you want. You guys can see everything that I'm mowing because I think one of the most important factors with a mower like this is runtime. If you're gonna make this investment in the mower, it probably means you have a bigger yard and you want to cut it all at once. They're claiming it'll cut up to two acres on one charge. Right now, everything that we've cut so far that you see behind me, including all of the times I had to stop, move cameras, etc., etc., has taken up 15% of my battery at this point. Now we're gonna get into some really heavy stuff down on the bottom, and I think that's gonna draw on the power a little bit more. We're gonna see if it'll perform. I think it's gonna get stuck. But well, let's find out. So everything you've seen there took 15% of my battery. That meant I still had 85% of my battery left. Now we get to see what can it handle, my favorite part. I wonder what these guys think when I bring these mowers back to them.
Listen to the motor. Doesn't bog. switch cameras, do a one camera or the other camera or vice versa, but let it go. Don't switch between, please, 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 because I want to make sure these guys can see there's nothing, no funny business going on here. So that's me talking to Danny, the editor. I wanted it just so you guys could just see it doing what it does. Can it do it? Can it do it? No cutting, no splicing, no fancy camera work, just mm, here it is. Let's see what, what it can handle till it can't handle no more. And it's beeping right now because I left it on as I got off. Sorry. I'm gonna get stuck for sure. For sure. That's just nasty stuff. 36% battery. So I've used I've used third at this point I've used 36% of my battery meaning I still have 64% of my battery life left by itself so when you throw a code the blade stops it gives you a little red warning light right under here and then when your obstruction is clear this turns red when your obstruction is clear it's green again well it turned green all by itself so means we're just getting back in business Guess how much this mower costs? Now, other battery-powered mowers, like that are commercial, dedicated battery-powered mowers, are 20 to 25 grand. Take your best guess down below what you think the price of this thing is. And it's just coming out, and they got only a very limited amount of them, is my understanding. But all they want for this is $49.99. And I think don't quote me but i think it's going to be at ace and lowe's those will be the places you can get them ace and lowe's or is it true value it's one of the two hardware stores and lowe's okay i wasn't like saving this spot it hasn't been mowed yet this year because every mower i have tried to get in here has sank It's not like this mower is designed to float, so I don't know why this one is going so well. And it's not like it's dry, because it's definitely... It's definitely not dry. So I, I'm... Uh, let's go that way. There's no way. I told you it gets good. Look, <laughs> you're going that way. Don't be afraid. <laughs> You'd be very afraid. There's no way. If I were a mower there going to my no house, way. I would be so afraid. Not it's gonna happen. going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's not going to happen. Lay your money down. 
Is it gonna get stuck? There's no way. Look how tall this stuff is. Do you think it's gonna get stuck, you guys? Come on. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? It's not gonna do it. That's fine. think that is seven eight foot tall switchgrass with the battery powered lawnmower are we cutting are we cutting through some pretty thick stuff I'd say we did Now it feels like a lawnmower. Oh, what I was actually referring to here was I was switching between the different modes, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. There's control mode, standard mode, another mode, I can't remember, travel mode, and every single mode affects the performance of the lawnmower. So you can as you guys are using this thing, you can literally dial this right to where you feel like it's the best for you. I'm in standard mode right now. Let's see how the backing up is. I was in control mode and the backing up was slow. That feels pretty good. All right, let's flip her into, let's flip her into Control mode. Okay, wait, we're in sport mode now. This is sport mode. Let's see what happens. Backing up, it's no big deal. Holy All right. She cooks a little in sport mode. Let's do her one more time. All right, sport mode's pretty fun. I got it. Sport mode is my favorite. I did try to jump. I bet I could jump it pretty far if you include dropping as part of a jump. Okay, so this mower has three different modes. Control, Standard, and Sport. But it has four different travel speeds. And then it has a fifth travel speed, which is a little bit of a secret. You hold the button down and you can go into what's called travel mode, which doesn't allow you to cut grass, but it allows you to do spin outs and donuts and gravel driveways pretty well. It's just really meant to get you from point A to point B, but all of these different modes and options are designed to optimize battery life. So let's take a look at what they've given you here. Here's all of your different speeds. When I hold this rabbit button down for four seconds, three seconds, four seconds, it goes into what's called travel mode. That's where you're not cutting, but you are having a little bit of fun, right? Here's the different speeds that are available. Here's your three different modes. Now control mode, standard mode, and sport mode actually optimize the throw on the levers. So when you're in control mode, you can have more push on the levers and less response on the machine, which lets you snake it into places. Sport and standard are standard feels like a regular lawnmower and sport 
is you know the opposite of control mode but here's something really cool right here this is your blade speed you can actually control your blade speed so let's say you have a yard and you want it cut real pristine and you want it to look crisp you turn your blade speed up but of course when you turn your blade speed up you're going to be using more battery so that's why they give you this as an option but let's say you got a rough patch of lawn and you just want to knock the weeds down and you don't care how it looks you can turn the blade speed down and you're going to conserve your battery power that way and let's talk about batteries and options with this here's your bank of batteries and let's say worst case scenario you get through the lawn you don't quite get it all done you don't have to plug the lawnmower in and wait for all of these to charge back up. You can pop your batteries out, grab a fresh one, stick it in, and be right back in action. Again, you can finish it up. So you're not stuck with a dedicated battery. You have options, and every one of those batteries still powers every tool that Ego makes. And that's our video for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, it's a very impressive little unit, uh, but my testing has just begun. Um, so I really want to take it to the next level. I mean, honestly, back in those weeds, that was something that I have not been able to mow yet this year. I haven't been able to get to it because every mower that I've tried to get in there has sank. This thing is light. It's got an extremely low center of gravity. So if you guys are into doing wheelies, you're probably not going to be able to do them very well because you everything is tucked so far down, but it also gives you pretty decent control on slopes. That's what I got for you today. God bless you guys. Go get them. Hopefully we'll see you on another one. Catch you later, you guys. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. A couple things we can't forget. Beverage review. Today I'm drinking Spindrift. This is water that is just mixed with real squeezed fruit. And this stuff is kind of amazing. Really delicious if you like water and real squeezed fruit. Kind of reminds me of being in a hotel room. The other thing that we got going on is maybe you guys can see, I got a couple things going on in the background. I got my new LMN banner. LMN sponsors this show. So big thanks to LMN. I can't seem to get a banner out of them, so I made my own. And then you see this side right here, Dirt Monkey Force. Um, so I need someone to draw me a logo for my new Dirt Monkey Force Club. Because it's like the Mickey Mouse Club, right? We're the Dirt Monkey Force Club. But I want it to be fan art. I want to put, if, so if you guys have logos, you want to draw me a Dirt Monkey Force logo up and you want to send it to me, I may pop that up on the back wall and you may see that in a, behind me in a future mm. video. And, well, that's all we got for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless you guys. We got some really cool stuff coming down the pipeline. What do we have coming down? UTV Wars. That's coming down the pipeline. And that video doesn't go anything like I thought it would. It was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be, to be totally honest with you. Um, we've also got a job site review coming up where, believe it or not, this one gets free flipping uh, insanely interesting. Customer comes out just torqued. And the thing was, I kind of had that inkling that he was going to come out and do it. So we were working on a job site. We were getting toward, toward the end of the second day, and I had this weird feeling that this customer was going to come out and just kind of lamb blast us. And it wasn't even the customer. It was the neighbor. And I was ready for it. The dirt monkey had time to prepare. So the dirt monkey wasn't going to let this guy walk all over me. So <laughs> he came out with his guns ablazing, and I came back with mine. And that's coming up in a future video. Um, and that's on a drain tile job. So if you're wondering which video that's going to be, it's, I don't know, it's a two-day job. It took us two days to do this drain tile job. I'll probably say something, the job where the neighbor yelled at me. The neighbor gets PO'd or pissed off or whatever you want to say. I don't know how I'm going to title it. I haven't even started editing it yet. But those are things that we're working on. God bless. Go get them, you guys. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, something else big is coming down. But... I'm not allowed to speak about it till after December 30th. Wish me luck on December 30th. And then ask me if I was able to, to buy the thing I want to buy. If I can buy it on December 30th, you guys are going to know about it. If not, just ask me about it and I'll tell you. <laughs> then <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. God bless you guys. Go get it. We'll see you at another one.